Assalamualaikum Hi everyone I'm Teacher Musfira Your Mathematics Teacher How are you today? I hope you are doing well Do you have any pencils and some papers with you? Yes? Good job! So, are you ready for today's lesson? Good! Let us look at this picture there are four balls in the basket. Then, his friend put one more ball in it. So, how many balls are there? Four balls and one ball make five balls all together. Very good! Yes, there are five balls all together. Four and one make five so four at one is equal to five remember when we add the number will be more can you guess our lesson today yes we are going to learn about addition pupils today we are going to first use and vary the relevant vocabulary in context of addition second introduce the symbol of addition and equal to third use the symbol of addition and equal to to write number sentence based on given situation fourth add in the range of basic facts and add two numbers with the sum within 100. Fifth, create stories involving addition within 100. And finally, solve problem involving addition in daily life situations. Are you ready? Okay, get started. Please look at the symbol. Do you know what this symbol means? That's right. It's meant to add. Can you think some of other similar words? There are addition, plus, total, sum, all together, and more than. From the previous example, we know that Four balls and one ball make five balls all together. Four and one make five. Four at one is equal to five. So, four plus one equals five. The first symbol means add. The second symbol means add equal to. Have you seen these symbols before? Yes? Very good! Do you know how to write the symbol of addition? Good! Can we draw it together? You can follow me. One line down, one line to the right. Again, one line down, and one line to the right. Well done! How about this symbol? Yes, this is the symbol of equal to. Can we draw it together? One line to the right. And again, one more line to the right. Good job! Based on the previous example, we know that 4 plus 1 equals 5. 4 plus 1 equals 5 is a number sentence. We use the symbol of addition and the symbol of equal to to complete a number sentence. Can you give me other examples of number sentence? Yes, 1 plus 2 
equals 3 3 plus 4 equals 7 5 plus 3 equals 8 Those are number sentences Well done! Look at the picture Three cats are playing Two more cats are coming how many cats all together? Three plus two is... This is number sentence. There are three cats and two cats. Let us count together. One, two, three, four, five. There are five cats all together. So, 3 plus 2 equals 5. Let us try to answer a few questions. The first question is 6 plus 3. Let's draw pictures to help us out. How about circle? 6 pink circles and Three blue circles. Let us count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine circles all together. So, six plus three equals to nine. Then, we have 2 plus 8. Other than drawing pictures, you can draw a number line. Draw a number line. Write number 2 as the first number in the number line and continue with other numbers. Then, plus 8 means you need to count on 8 steps from number 2. Let us count together. One step, two step, three steps, four step, five step, six step, seven step, and eight step. So, the answer is ten. Two plus eight equals ten. Next question is four plus seven. Do you have a ruler with you? Good. Check out your ruler. Can you see numbers on your ruler? We can use the numbers to help us find the answer. 4 plus 7. Look at number 4. Then, count on 7 steps from number 4. Let us count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There you go. The answer is 11. So, 4 plus 7 equals 11. Well done. Can we try using a bigger number? 35 plus 3. What is the answer for 35 plus 3? How to get the answer? Aha! Uh -huh. There are many ways to find the answer. First, you can draw a number line. Draw a number line based on the questions given. Start the number line with number 35. Then, count on 3 steps from 35. One step, two step, three step. Very good. The answer is 38. So, 35 plus 3 equals 38. Other than number line, you can also use the standard form. How to use the standard form? First, you have to draw two columns to write place value 1s and 10s. Then, 
write the number in the correct place value. After that, add the number in the column labeled once. 5 plus 3 equals 8. Then, add the number in the column labeled tens. 3 plus 0 equals 3. The answer is 38. So, 35 plus 3 equals 38. Can we try with other numbers? 42 plus 25. What is the answer for 42 plus 25? Let us use standard form. Draw two columns for place value ones and tens. Write the number in the correct place value. Then, add the numbers in the column ones. 2 plus 5 equals 7. After that, Add the numbers in the column tens. 4 plus 2 equals 6. The answer is 67. 42 plus 25 equals 67. How about this question? 39 plus 17. What is the answer? Let us use standard form. Draw two columns to write the value for ones and tens. Write the number in the correct place value. Then, add the numbers in the column ones. 9 plus 7 equals 16. 16? How to write 16 in the column? Let me show you. 6 is 1's. So, write 6 in the column of place value 1's. 1 is 10's. So, write 1 in the column of place value 10's. After that, add the number in the column 10's. 3 plus 1 plus 1 equals 5. The answer is 56. So, 39 plus 17 equals 56. Let us try another number. The question is 27 plus 35. Can you try to find the answer? Now, Take out a pencil and a piece of paper. Find the answer using standard form. Did you get the answer? Let us check the answer together. Draw two columns to write the value for ones and tens. Write the number in the correct place value. Then, add the numbers in the column ones. 7 plus 5 equals 12. 2 is 1. 1 is 10. So, write 2 in the column 1s and 1 in the column 10s. So, write 1 in the column of place value 10s. After that, add the numbers in the column tens. 2 plus 3 plus 1 equals 6. The answer is 62. So, 27 plus 35 equals 62. Yay! You got it right. Well done! We are going to continue our lesson with an addition story. We will learn how to create a story involving addition within 100. Are you ready? Yes? Good! Look at the picture. 
What can you see? Yes, red cars and yellow cars. How many red cars in the picture? Yes, five red cars. How many yellow cars in the picture? Yes, there are three yellow cars. How many cars all together? Yes, there are eight cars all together. Very good. So, the number sentence is 5 plus 3 equals 8. From the number sentence, we can create a story about the picture. There are 5 red cars. There are 3 yellow cars. There are 8 toy cars all together. Well done! Can you create a story based on this picture? It is about money. 45 ringgit and 50 ringgit. The total amount of the money is 95 ringgit. Let us create a story. Shifa keeps 45 ringgit. Her mother gives another 50 ringgit. The total amount of Shifa's money is 95 ringgit. Well done! Look at this picture. It is about ducks. Let us create a story about it. Six ducks are swimming. Four more ducks are coming. There are ten ducks all together. The number sentence is 6 plus 4 equals 10. Well done! It's easy, right? I know all of you can do it. Now, we are going to learn about problem solving involving addition in daily life situations. Look at the question. Let us read together. Encik Arif has 7 blue pens and 5 red pens. How many pens does he have all together? You must read the question carefully. Understand and interpret the problem. Underline the information given in the story. Circle the question. Then, plan a solving strategy. You can build a diagram. Then, carry out the strategy. Finally, look back. Can we try another question? Let us read together. There are 26 boys and 11 girls in 6E class. How many pupils are there all together? Read the question carefully. Understand and interpret the problem. Underline the information given in the story. Circle the question. Then, plan a solving strategy. Carry out the strategy. Finally, look back. Okay class, what have you learned today? Yes, we have learned about addition. We learned how to First, use and vary the relevant vocabulary in context of addition. Second, introduce the symbol of addition and equal to. Third, use the symbol of addition and equal to to write the number sentence based on given situation. Fourth, add in the range of basic facts and add two numbers with the sum within 100. Fifth, create stories involving addition within 100. Six, solve problems involving addition in daily life situations. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. That's all for today. See you again in the next lesson. 
Bye-bye.